G'day, Lockie here. Today we're going to learn about custom metrics in Kubernetes. So for the next five or ten minutes, I'm going to walk you through how to uh, use custom metrics through the scope of horizontal pod, pod autoscalers in Kubernetes. So um, for those of you who are new to horizontal pod autoscalers, they can be scaled on two different metrics at the moment, CPU and memory across a deployment. Now what we're going to take a look at today is actually other applications of custom metrics um, through the lens of an HPA. So what I'm going to be walking through right now is an open source um, metrics adapter for Kubernetes that hooks specifically into the Azure platform to grab different um, things that you may want to scale on so uh, from different services. So if we go and take a look at through the readme in this repo, um, what we have is uh, how to deploy this, which we're going to go through, and just some different um, external metrics and custom metrics. So specifically, you could uh, have a look at service bus or different queues. So you could say if a queue is at this length, then scale up. So you could have some more workers on that queue. Um, if you see different event on event hubs. Um, but today, specifically, we're going to take a look at custom metrics and scaling on a custom metric. So if we go down here, this is the thing that we're going to be walking through. So what the dependency is here, um, what we're actually going to be trying to show is request per second. So let's say um, we can measure the request per second coming into our um, deployment um, of n number of pods that we could scale up. So if the request per second go up over a certain threshold, we can actually scale automatically using a HPA with a custom metric here. So we're going to be using a service called Application Insights. Now this is not specific to Azure at all. I'm showing you an adapter for Azure, but you could take it and plug it into your StatsD, your Prometheus, anything like that. There are great examples out here, but I figured I'd walk you through this one um, on Azure and we'll see how we go. So I'm going to click on this uh, request per second example here. Okay. Okay, so there's a great walkthrough here. Um, kudos to the author here, James, um, who's on the team, to put a, get together such a great walkthrough. You can take a look at this. You can use the code as a reference. Um, but basically, we're going to go through here. Now, I'm actually doing it on ACS Engine, so I have a, a, a blank cluster ready. We just need to make sure um, that we have um, some pieces up and running and ready to go. So first thing we would do is create application insights. I have happened to have done this before. You need to grab um, a piece of information, this instrumentation key, and what we're going to do with that key is actually put it inside a piece of software. We're going to have a, a Node.js front-end web app that we're going to be hitting. It's actually going to be writing the server response time and the number of requests in here. And then we're going to pull that out with the custom metrics and actually scale on that inside Kubernetes. So um, all you would need to do is set up an application insights. And what I'm going to do, um, you would also need API access here. So you would go ahead and create another key and give it the access to read telemetry. So that's going to give this adapter that's running in Kubernetes access to read um, special data points that are stored inside this um, um, application insights here. So. That's that. So I'm not going to go through and show you how to um, grab all those keys, but what we're basically going to do is I'm going to walk you through my little script here. We're going to create a namespace called custom metrics. So let me just show you what I have here. I have an get ns. And so I have a pretty much a blank 111 cluster here. Um, not too much going on. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is create a namespace called custom metrics. This is where we're going to deploy this uh, metri uh, Azure uh, Kubernetes metrics adapter. Okay, now I'm just going to create a secret in there, and this is going to contain an API key and passcode um, from literal there. You can go ahead, I will delete this after here. So basically, there's an app ID and uh, a key that's been created as a secret inside that namespace. Now what I'm going to go do is actually deploy the adapter. So we'll, we'll see what this looks like. Okay, so we've deployed the adapter. What we see is we've got some um, RBAC stuff uh, here. Uh, the other interesting things is we've created uh, an API service registration for a custom metric on this Kubernetes cluster. Uh, and we've also created, okay, an external metric. So custom and external. Uh, metrics API registration here they need to be created on your cluster there's a note there um, and we should see that we have a deployment 
and the namespace already exists that is a okay so basically the the crux of this sh should be I'm gonna do a get pods and then namespace custom metrics and I would expect to see this adapter here running custom metrics okay okay so that that is a okay all right at the moment nothing interesting there we can wait okay now what I'm going to do is actually deploy so we've got the app up and running what I'm going to do now is deploy this generic secret which is the instrument key that I mentioned earlier this is going to be consumed it's actually already there I haven't cleaned up uh, it's going to be consumed by this demo app that I'm running up now so I've created a deployment and a service in the default namespace that should be creating now and I'm also going to apply the HPA so let's just go while that's all happening here we'll take a look at the HPA that we're deploying so what we're saying is uh, min replicas so we're matching a deployment name here min is 2 max is 10 and the metrics we're saying it's a type of pod um, of type pod and here's the metrics name so this actually would match what we have upstream in application insight so we're going to be pulling requests per second and target average value that's over the fleet of pods so all pods attached to this specific deployment um, we want to have a value of 10 requests per second is the target so we're going to scale until that criteria is met so what we should see here is cube cuddle get um, pods so that is running we can do a cube cuddle get HPA okay that so we can see that the RPS sample is currently at zero so I have no requests per second we've set the replicas to two and it would go up to ten um, if it were there now another little sneaky piece here is we can actually go and pull this manually using a cube cuddle get raw we can go pull the counter which is exactly what the HBA is configured to look at um, when we looked at the HBA it's the same name there on the metric so we could pull this directly and have a look at the object here um, so here's a list and basically the value at the moment is zero um, what we can also do is get service so once this load balancer so we have a um, external IP here what I'm going to do is in this command I'm going to use a, a load testing tool a HTTP load testing tool in docker called WRK and I'm actually going to start pushing some load against this now before I do that down here I'm going to do a kubectl uh, get HBA and let's just do a, a watch on that okay so I'm going to fire up some load here all right so we're going to give it two minutes of tests here we should see um, ideally see this number go up and then see uh, some scaling as a result of that so I'm going to open another tab here we will do a cube cuddle bump my fonts uh, watch cube cuddle get pods right we only have two currently here what we should see as uh, we start getting data from applications insights we should be able to actually scale on that um, so while that's happening I'm just going to pop over here and take a look so you can as I said go ahead and, and pull this down the adapter is there um, it's open source so you can get some idea of how this might work if you wanted to uh, do this yourself I think uh, scaling on RPS is incredibly uh, valuable and I've always wanted to take a look at this so kudos to the uh, James who actually wrote this and put it together and packaged it up in a nice way so that I can do a quick five minute demo on exactly how this works um, other interesting snippets here James kind of gives some nice background as to how other pieces of it works and the upstream documentation so you can learn more about um, exactly from the Kubernetes documentation how all of these things work and how you might tie them together but when you take a look at HPAs um, CPU and memory might be something that you want to scale on but if you want um, the ability to do external or custom metrics um, here is an example that you can actually take through and end um, end to end so while this is happening we should see that um, I'm gonna just pop over to application insights as well 
we should eventually see if I've set everything up right. Um, we should be pumping out some data there. Okay. So that has exited right now. Let's go ahead and run it again. I have it on a pretty tight loop. So you're, you're up against a few things here. Your, your interval at which your HPA does a loop is about 30 seconds. Now, so basically we see here the HPA and application insights can be up to 30 seconds to actually get the data in. So each one of these loops um, is about, I think I must have it at 10 or 20 at the moment, but we can see that to get this over 10, it actually took about a minute or two to be picked up. So just keep that in mind as you're working with this. There are timers that you can tweak and we can get those numbers down faster. But now you can actually see that we're above over our desired and we're actually going to start scaling until we get down so we've gone from two to four and this is based on a custom metric of uh, requests per second now these requests per second are actually being averaged um, i've got an average counter on app insights over the 30 second window so i'm probably with wrk actually generating much more traffic um, but i'm just showing you this to actually trigger a scale um, and obviously, however you want to collect your own metrics in tools like App Insights, they support custom metrics as well. So if you want to do request per minute, request per second, you can tie that all together. But here's a nice lightweight way without um, having to leave the um, Kubernetes apparatus there in HPA to have this scaling work. So we should see if that's, um, I think for each scaling event, there's also a cool down timer to make sure that the... Um, uh, when we scale again up or down or in um, either direction. So we can see that we've actually scaled now. Um, I should also be able to see over here, um, yeah, our uh, server requests come in. It looks like we've had about 12,000 requests on that time interval. I could probably get it down a little lower to give it a little bit higher here. And we can see our response time here. So I would expect if I continue to hit this, I would expect this to actually keep scaling up to a maximum of 10 over time and um, basically to try and get it as close as possible. Now, I'm not sure, uh, we can see that we're at 123. I'm not sure how many nodes I have attached to this cluster and how much space this RPS sample is trying to reserve, but I have little nodes and I actually have an auto scaler on, so we might have nodes scaling up in the background. But I wanted just to show this, this demo for now of how you can have a seamless integration with uh, cloud provider tools, whether you have your own Prometheus or Grafana or StatsD, and actually use this as a way to get um, RPS or some other custom metrics straight into your HBA. So that was it. Uh, thanks for joining. I will post the link in the description, and please subscribe if this video was useful and you want to see more. Cheers.